I'm going to show you how to use your emoji jumping popper, which is this one here. So to make this work, you need to turn it inside out first of all. So I'm just going to push down on the face with my thumbs and then turn the whole thing inside out like this. So it's now inside out. The face is on the inside and the blank bit is on the top. I'm then going to squeeze it slightly around the sides, put it quickly down on the table and then let go. and then it jumps up in the air. Just got to pick that one up. It's fallen on the floor. Now sometimes it might go too quickly. So if I turn it inside out, sometimes it might go before you've really had a chance to get it down onto the table. If your jumping popper is popping too quickly, what you need to do is to turn it inside out and then just squeeze the side slightly. So I'm just going to squeeze and then I'm going to turn it another way and squeeze and now it should take a little bit longer. So if you'll start to get too fast, or if they're too fast when you get them out of the packet, give it a bit of a squeeze, and now you'll see it's taking quite a bit longer before it launches. What's happening here is when we turned it inside out, we created something called elastic potential energy, which means there's energy stored inside the popper, just waiting to be released, just like that. Now, when the energy was transformed, it got changed from that elastic potential energy into kinetic energy, which is movement. That's why it jumped. It also made some sound energy. You might have heard it hit the table. And it probably made a tiny bit of heat energy. Not enough for us to be able to feel, but most things, if they're moving, they're creating a little bit of heat. So have fun with your jumping popper. And remember, if it's going too fast, just give it a little bit of a squeeze and that just makes it slow down a little bit. Enjoy!